Hey guys, today I will be doing an in-depth review of my um, M70 airsoft gun. I think it's the Stinger or the Pulse M70. Um, by Crossman. All my guns are by Crossman except my metal uh, pistol. Um, and all my guns are clear. So I'm, I'm gonna paint this one too. This is supposed to be like, as you can already tell, it looks like an MP5. Even the sight. Um, the scope is removable. You just gotta take off these screws on it. You gotta take off these screws and you can remove it. Um, which I do plan on doing. Um, cause I like the iron sights on the MP5. But, this is where the ammo goes, unfortunately. It holds up to 250 rounds in the scope. So you can actually put all that ammo in the scope, take the scope off, and just pour ammo into here. It's how it holds about, say, 30 just inside of this. This is where the darts go and it feed down into here. And they shoot. I got this gun for $20 at Walmart, which is a good deal. Um, it's automatic and spring. It uses four AA batteries, which go in the bottom of the handle right there. I never needed to change the batteries. I've only had it about a week, though. Um, the, here's the spring bolt right here. Yeah, take the, take, take the safety off, put it up on semi, and pull it back. Which is pretty easy to pull back. And then, shoot it. So if you run out of batteries, you can just always start packing it and shooting. On the safety thing, this is that spring. That's safe. They got hold it down. It's automatic. Listen to that. It's, it's pretty fast. You can go through some ammo. And you hear, just look at the gears going. So it's not bad. I mean, it's only twenty dollars, and I think it's pretty. It's, it's worth it. It comes with about a bag of sixty BBs or so. So thank you guys for watching my review of my uh, Stinger M70 uh, airsoft gun. And the next airsoft gun I plan to get is the Stinger R34, the M4. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.